We're gonna do the big reveal. We're gonna open up Leah's medicine cabinet and start to deconstruct it and then put together her routine. Mm -hmm. So go for it, I'll let you okay. do the big. Here we go. Yep. I'm here today with one of my favorite people ever, Leah McSweeney. I met Leah on her podcast earlier this summer and we just like fell in love. And you might recognize her a little bit. She is the newest housewife on Real Housewives of New York. I have a brand called Married to the Mob, which is a female streetwear brand. I do a podcast called Improper Etiquette. And I'm just a woman in search for, you know, getting her skin as perfect as Possible. So we're gonna do the big reveal. We're gonna open up Leah's medicine cabinet and start to deconstruct it and then put together her routine. Mm -hmm. So go for it, I'll let you okay. do the big. Here we go. Yep. So This is a real housewife's medicine this cabinet. Is, sometimes okay, I feel like, you know, I should have like, you know, a bazillion different, like I see some people on Instagram, like influencers, you know, and they're like, here's like all my products. And I'm like, oh my God, there's literally 200 things. Like right. how do you even deal with that? Like, Life is too short. Like I, we got kids. I have right. no time for this. I think it should be five steps in the morning, five steps at night. First step is, includes cleansing. If you ask me, this is not makeup even. Right. So there's some people that do beyond this. Right, exactly. So I really like to break it down cleanser, eye cream. In the morning, it should be sunscreen, vitamin C, and then the anti-aging product. At night, same idea, cleanser, eye cream. Moisturizer goes a little higher higher up there than vitamin A and an anti-aging product. I start with this papaya enzyme yes. cleanser that you had suggested to me. Love it, right? It's, it's very great. gentle. It's so good. The active ingredient are these like fruit extracts in it, papaya, there's a little bit of salicylic acid, but if you have gentle skin and are on the oilier end of the spectrum, still like combination type, it's a great product. Amazing. Yeah. Cool. And it's not drying you out, right? No, I don't think so. Cool. I also have this cleanser, which I use. I, I want to ask you, yes. how often should I be using this? Okay, so this is my favorite product. For... This is also something yes. that you suggested. So this is straight glycolic acid. Acid, which is really, really hard to find in only glycolic. Usually it comes in tandem with salicylic, but this is great, it's foaming. If you are pregnant, this is what I recommend patients using. It's foaming, so it's strong. Most most pregnant women can't use it every single day. Men, men can use this daily, so it's a great men product. All right, so after I do my morning cleansing, cool. then I spray my face with this jasmine. Ooh, yeah, why? oh, it's so good. I don't know, because I just like a little refresher. So it's toner? Yeah. So it just like wakes you up? It wakes me up. Okay, that or, doesn't bother me. I like that. Or I use this toner. Well, there's no alcohol it? in this one. This one has alcohol in it. Okay, or I have a lot of toners. Or I use my fresh rose one that I don't have the top for anymore. I mean, toners are interesting. I like people using toners at night, specifically more so just to get your face clean. So like, I don't know after you're washing in the morning why you strip it down even more. Okay, you're probably... this is why you're here. Yeah, you're telling yeah. so I say at night, like to get your makeup, your your day off your face, it's nice to be able to tone it out. Oh, this is why I like the toner in the morning because once my face is a little damp from the toner, I put on, <laughs> so I'm doing it all at the wrong time. <laughs> I do my vitamin C. No, vitamin C is morning. It is morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were saying vitamin A was at night? Correct. Is that what we were? Okay. C goes in the morning. C is in the morning. Okay, the reason I don't like this product particularly, and I'm not here to like bash products. Okay, no, it's fine, tell me. Yeah. It's an oil, and so vitamin C products, usually when you first buy them, they're super um, yellow, and then they oxidize with light exposure, like in bathrooms. It breaks down the vitamin C in the product, so it starts to turn brown, and it's just not as strong and potent. So you're so expensive. Don't tell yeah, me. Yeah, and you. vitamin C is expensive. That's why they they made it blue so that it helps it from oxidizing. Okay, but vitamin okay. C goes in the morning so with sunscreen. I put that on. Cool. And then I do my eye cream. Okay. okay. So Okay, this is a good this is a good yeah. thing. Okay. Eye cream should go on first. Before. Before the moisturizer. Before your vitamin C. <gasps> really? Before your toner, whatever crazy stuff you're toning with. You Jeez. get out of the shower and eye cream should go on. Oh Eyelid skin's very thin on a woman's body and you wanna make sure that you're protecting it from all the active ingredients that go on after. So okay. create that barrier and put eye cream on okay. first. Can you tell me where am I supposed to be putting it exactly? Okay, so I don't. I just do this and then I go, yeah, like that. Just Is stay that on, fine? stay just on like, bone, stay on bone. Yeah, like this, right? On bone, like upper, lower eyelid, in just the tear. Slather it on. Yeah, like, totally. Okay. And I love this skincare line, Elastin. You've heard me talk about it. It's fantastic. This particular product's really good if you have thin, creping skin and you're looking to like build back collagen in there. Um, great product. Then I do my moisturizer, which I used to use a lot of oils, and I kept 
telling Rita, why are my pores so big? Like right. I'm breaking out. She's like, what are you moisturizing with? And I'm like, I am slathering on oil on my face. Yeah. If you are oily, if you're adding oil to your skin, you're only going to break out and get oily. I, I also feel like I was dry. Right. So but people have combination type skin and it gets them confused. And so one way to kind of lift that confusion is to look at your lips. So your lips mm. lack the stratum corneum, which is a layer that you have on the rest of your face. If your lips are dry and peely, which yours are not, yeah. then your face is not that dry and you can get away using lighter things like serums and lotions, for instance. Okay. If your lips are dry and peely and you need, you don't break out, then maybe perhaps you could use oils in a perfect world. But, okay. But so, I am acne prone. I never put oils on my face. So I use this. Okay. So Phil, oh. I'm kind of, I mean, look, I love a good, fancy, expensive moisturizer. I just don't know which one to buy yet. So this stuff may not be like the most smelling, elegant stuff, but like don't break the bank on your moisturizer. You know, you got to use it twice a day. You got to get it all over your face, your neck and stuff like that. I like this. I have personally, Cetaphil products are my favorite moisturizer. I haven't tried this one out with hyaluronic acid, but hyaluronic acid basically, it draws water to itself, so it has a pumping effect. Have you noticed that? Have you feel like? Yeah, I feel like it's, no, it is really good. And this is the thing, once I stopped using the oil, I felt like right. my face was getting used to not having it anymore. Right. So it was a little dry, but then like it ended up balancing itself out. And then I, of course, put on sunscreen. my sunscreen. Cool, I see two of them. I see yes, that on the last one. I also have this one. This one is a um, tinted, Yes. right? Okay. This one's untinted. Yes. Um, I tell people like the big differences, these are like my two favorites, but um, Monday through Friday work week, I'll put on the Elastin one. Um, it has an infrared blocker in it, so it's kind of like anti-aging, anti-melasma, stuff like that. I just feel like it's a little dark for my skin. Though. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, it matches me pretty well. It matches a lot of skin types, but if it's a little dark, like I could see that. And it has the it has the consistency more like foundation, so it saves you a step in the morning. This is the step I use when I'm on vacation, the Elta MD UV Clear. It's great, but it's a physical blocker, so it's all zinc. It's great, so if you're looking for a physical blocker sunscreen, the Elta MD UV Clear. Um, it's made for people who are acne prone too. So for nighttime, um... I use take off my makeup with this micellar water. Yeah, perfect. You do this with a cotton swab, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a great first step. Like when you have professional makeup on, you have to. Do this oh yeah, you yeah, have to. Yeah, totally. totally. If I have, if I was filming and I would have heavy, heavy makeup, I use like the, the Neutrogena perfect. in this. Cool. And then I will use the Vanny cream. Vanna cream is amazing. I love it. And it was only like freaking $12. Yeah. Drugstore brand. Awesome. I use their deodorant. I don't know if you've ever used it. Their no, deodorant is fantastic. Deodorant. And the reason I really like it, it's like just free of so many things, including fragrance, lanolin, a lot of things people are allergic to. Vanna cream is a great line. So. This is non-foaming, right? Right. Correct. Yeah, so a big thing people don't realize if something foams, it's changing the pH on the surface of your skin. It's mm. acting like a detergent. So if you're sensitive, you should not be using foaming cleansers. Also, once in a while, I'll use exfoliating face wash. Yeah. Does it feel gritty? Is yes. that why you like mm -hmm. it? Okay. So it's exfoliated. Yes. Um, active ingredients. Yeah. I mean, you just feel like it does that extra step of getting your makeup off. Yeah, like just, I don't know, just like getting dead skin cells off. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's that nice kind of to thing. use products, especially when you're using like gentle cleansers, something exfoliative a couple of times a week, just to help anti-age your skin, get that dead skin cells off and stuff like that. I so also, this and this is just one. once in a while, I use this one. This is another exfoliating gel, which you use okay. on your dry face and you put it on and you and all the dead skin comes off and you can see it and it's so Yeah, it's satisfying. nice to be able to. And it looks like it's just a bunch of fruit extracts in there, which are great. So yes, I agree with Leah in that respect. If you're looking to exfoliate, look for the consistency of the product and things that have those micro beads in them are really nice. And you can get away with that if you're on the oilier end of the spectrum. Again, if you're super duper sensitive, it's just gonna, it's gonna chafe your skin and not and be too aggressive. But if you're like Leah and me and you're on the oilier end, you can get away with that stuff. So after I cleanse, I will use one of Dr. Rita's <laughs> toning pads, or like not toning, sorry. What yeah, no, they're it? complete toner pads. You're toning right pads. If you're breaking out, that week you're breaking out, go more towards the acne ones. Right. I think this will definitely help. They're ones that are just straight glycolic acid. I use these in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, I use them when I brush my teeth. Um, and that's how I like, after you no, brush your face. After, you, no, 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 this is like before I when I'm you brushing, wake up. When I wake up, that's what I do. I'm brushing my teeth. I use a pregame pad and I get in the shower. 
So after I do that, I will uh, use the toner. Okay, again. I just like the toner. I don't know. I just be like careful that. that you're not drying and stripping yourself out too okay. much because you'd be surprised. A lot of acne is just a vicious cycle of like your skin trying to recreate like a it's perfect oil content. So then maybe so. I'll just tone at night. From yeah, on. yeah. Right. I like the spritzer though, but maybe use that. That I don't think you're like overdoing right. with, but just toning usually should be a nighttime routine if you ask me. Okay, cool. Then I do my eye cream again. Good. Right? Perfect. And then depending on how I feel, I will use just the moisturizer again. Okay. Or put on this overnight moisturizing mask. What is it, like a bomb? You sleep with this thing on? Yeah. yeah so it's, I mean, a it's hyaluronic acid, squalene, vitamin C, and you sleep in that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, squalene is something that waterproofs your skin. This time of year, it's nice. It hasn't been a true winter in New York, but it's nice to be able to get all that moisture back into the skin. So I like a once a week mask. And then I use... Perfect. So you, but you wouldn't, like, the days you don't mask, you mean? Yes, yes, of course. How many pumps? Two. Okay. And then I do it on face. my face and my neck. Okay, face, neck, back of hands. Don't forget oh, your hands. hands, yeah. Right. Over-the-counter retinol's not as photostable, meaning it inactivates with light exposure a lot more easily. Put this one in your bedstand and do it. I do it when I'm Instagramming at night. I will do my two pumps, the face, my neck, and the back of my hands, like in the dark at night, so I just know it's not losing potency like while I'm like putting the kids to sleep and all that stuff mm. that I do. So like this should be your last step and put it on your face kind of when you're in the dark. That's one tip with really? retinol. Yeah. And the secret with vitamin A is you have to find a product that you can use seven nights a week, 365 days a year. So in my experience, going over the counter where products are more hydrating and then peptides are added, other products are added that anti-aging beyond the vitamin A, you're gonna increase compliance and you're gonna be able to use a product every single night. And that's the goal. And that's when you start to see the benefit these vitamin A, remember, is where anti-acne and anti-Asian collide, so it's really important. The only time you can't use a vitamin A, remember, is when you're trying to get pregnant, you're pregnant, or you're breastfeeding. But other than that, it should be in your routine at night. Vitamin C in the morning, vitamin I A I also at night. really like this remover as well, the Ooh. Sisley. Yeah, it's so I've good. never used any of these products, so Sisley, They're really good. if you're out there. Oh, wait, there, I have one more product. Hold on. Hold on, she's coming back. I but I've never it. tried your product. Send some my it. way. I want to... I have it in my... In my I want to try it. I want to try this makeup remover. This is great. Because I was on a, I traveled to Seattle and back in one day. I saw it. For mom. Yeah, oh, new okay. business partner. So okay, cool. I was in a plane for 12 hours and within a 24 hour period and my skin was like, Ugh. so I used that. It's great. It's a really great product. I love their products. Cool. They have great makeup too. All right. Well, that is Leah McSweeney's medicine cabinet detox. All right. So I feel pretty proud of myself. Yeah. Really no, she's doing such a good job. I'm okay. so proud of her. All right. Well, thanks to I you. you. I love you more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, yay!